Governor Paul LePage of Maine uh, is extreme, and he's the guy who wants to send kids back to work, um, minors back to the mines. He says, well, you know, I delivered uh, newspapers as a boy, so why not have uh, you know, kids as young as 12 head off to factories? Okay, that's one of a hundred examples I can give you of how extreme this guy is. Well, he's got a new one. Um, he's decided that if you're overdosing from heroin, well, why not let you die? Now, that's, come on, that's got to be in hyperbole, right? It's literal. Okay, so let me explain. First of all, in three years as governor, uh, LePage has been an excellent drug warrior. He cut funds to substance abuse treatment. Great, I mean, you wouldn't want to help those folks, right? He limited heroin replacement therapies like suboxone um, and sought to add f uh, 14 agents to the state's drug enforcement agency. So don't treat the problem at all, just you know, send more agents to arrest people and put them in jail. Yeah, I go, yeah, I'm so tough. Uh, later in the story, we'll tell you how effective this campaign has been. You're going to want to see that. Okay, now, what else has he done? Well, he's also vetoed different ideas for how they could help people not die on heroin. So, for example, a bill meant to provide legal immunity for health professionals administering naloxone uh, to those suffering from an overdose. So he vetoed that. So. Uh, well, that was supposed to say, hey, if you're a doctor and a guy comes in on overdosing on heroin, you can give this product that actually will make sure he doesn't die. He says, no, I'm not going to give you immunity for that. If you uh, give him that product, I might prosecute you for administering drugs. But the guy's going to die. He's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> I mean, this guy, in a country full of unbelievably extreme Republicans, he might take the cake. Here's another bill he vetoed. He, uh, it was a bill to create a Good Samaritan protections from prosecution for drug possession for people who call 911 when they suspect a companion has overdosed. Oh, you're going to call 911 to save your companion? No, no, no I'm going to prosecute you. Man. Okay. So now there's this drug called Narcan, and that's, you know, again, the thing that gets the overdose to stop so, to say you can, you, so you can save their life. He, well, there was a, an idea to place the drug Narcan in the hands of police, firefighters, at-risk users, and their families. So if they're ODing, well, then the police, the firefighters, etc., would be able to use it so they don't die. Veto. Uh, they're not going to bring it up now because he says, I'm going to veto it, so don't even bother. Okay? Okay, so we'll see if it gets, you know, introduced and how far it goes, etc., but it's useless because he's going to stop it. Okay. Now, uh, his idea is, no, 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 but look, you got to understand, these druggy losers, if I let it, them not OD, then they're going to get the wrong message. But if you let them OD, they're going to get the message that they're dead. So what difference does it make, right? He says, no, 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 it'll increase drug consumption overall. Well, that's interesting because there was uh, recently research done by Carlo Wagner at the UC San Diego School of Medicine, and the research concluded that knowing more about the overdose treatment did not encourage drug users to use more. Instead, it appeared to do the opposite. More than half of those who went through the program actually reported decreased drug use at a follow-up interview Wagner study found. Now, uh, that would be facts, and facts are inconvenient things for Republicans, so we just ignore that. Oh, it reduced it? By the way, why did it reduce it? Think about it. Because they tell drug users all the different ways that they can OD. Then they get a little bit more reluctant to use the drug. It's not like th there's a drug user that's now going, oh, like a, man, <laughs> I'm not worried about ODing here. I'll just have, if a firefighter or a cop, an ambulance gets here in time, and he's not going to be busted by Governor LePage, he'll just administer this remedy to me, and I'll get snapped back into life. That's not how they think. <laughs> They're just trying to get a high. I mean, that's so insanity to think that they... Look, I believe in incentives and disincentives. This is not a case where it applies where someone's making a rational decision, right? By the way, in Massachusetts, luckily, they went in the other direction. In a town called Quincy, they decided that they were going to put nal naloxone uh, with the police, the firefighters, the medical professionals, they were going to give it to them. How many uh, lives did it save? 188. 188 overdoses in Quincy alone, where they reversed it and they were able to save the guy's life. Okay? Now, you want to know who agrees with Governor LePage or used to? It's Governor Chris Christie, another Republican in New Jersey. He also uh, was going to do similar vetoes. You know who talked him out of it? 
And this is just a sad joke. John Bon Jovi. <laughs> now look, I'm glad John Bon Jovi did it, and his daughter had overdosed on heroin, and luckily she survived, right? And God bless him for doing it, right? But how goofy are these guys? They're like, yeah, oh yeah, screw them, let them die, who cares? Oh, my friend who's famous and a celebrity and a rock star from New Jersey says I shouldn't do it, well then I won't do it. And Chris Christie uh, said uh, when he reversed his decision, quote, we want you to save a life first. I would rather you didn't do it in the first place, but I live in the real world. But you didn't live in the real world until John Bon Jovi corrected your ass. Okay, but apparently LePage does not really live in the real world, and he says, no, I don't want to save your life first. So, <laughs> either he thinks that before anyone does any drugs, they think, well, if I do that drug, it might lead to heroin, and if I do heroin, it might lead to me ODing, and if I OD, well, Governor LePage says he won't rescue me or have anyone else rescue me, well, I better not start on, on drugs. Yeah, that's how it goes. Or he thinks, well, you know, if I OD and I die, well, I'll learn my lesson that I shouldn't have OD. Okay, yeah. Remember when the Republicans used to say that they were compassionate conservatives? Well, they don't say that much anymore. So finally, we get to the results in Maine. So obviously, with this crackdown on drugs, I mean, it's, look, it's tough love, but it's better for you, right? He's had great results, right? Fatal heroin overdoses in Maine quadrupled from 2011 to 2012. Nice work, Governor. 